Okay guys, this is the video on how to fix a uh, an iPhone with a no SIM inserted message. Usually you get this when you've uh, either dropped your phone or you've cracked something on the back and it looks a bit out of place or every so often it might just show the no SIM inserted message anyway. Uh, I originally thought this phone was blocked by the network providers. The, I originally thought that the IMEI number was blocked but um, I later found out that it wasn't. Um, so this is one that I fixed for someone. It had a, a cracked back here, a cracked case all the way around here, no buttons that was all missing including the power button. It had a cracked camera lens and it's also had a new LCD because that was also cracked. But So this one's now working fine. It's on O2, it's getting full signal, nearly full signal. Uh, I'll just show you, it's all working fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So as you can see, it's working fine. What the message you will actually receive will be something like this. If I just pop this out, that's the message you'll get, and it will say no SIM. Uh, if you're receiving that, and you definitely got a SIM card in, and you definitely know your phone's not blocked, then you can follow these simple instructions, and it'll get it fixed. So what you want to do is pop out the SIM, and obviously get rid of this message, and shut the phone down. I had trouble with this as I went to activate the phone. It's still, uh, I wasn't able to activate it as it was showing no SIM. Obviously, you need to have a SIM card inserted to activate via iTunes. So let's just uh, take the phone apart quickly. Yeah, there's plenty of videos on the uh, on YouTube if you're unsure on how to take an iPhone apart. Otherwise, you can just quickly. Uh, do what I'm doing. That's a niggly screw. Okay. Obviously keep the screws safe. So the iPhone is off. You want to uh, suck a paddy off. Be very careful when pulling the LCD off. As there are three ribbons at the back and you don't want to break those. So there we go. And as you'll see the three ribbons are down the back there, there's one will pop off straight away and you want the case opener tools which are like this one They're very plastic you just want to quickly pop number two off and again there's a little catch on number three like I say you'll uh, you can watch other videos on YouTube there's plenty of them on how to fix this, this is not fixed for an LCD screen this is a fix for a no sim Right, once you're inside the phone, you'll see that if there's this catch here, this little gold thing, I don't know if I can get a good shot of it for you. When the SIM card goes in, obviously if you're showing no SIM, it's usually these three pins here, you know, one, two, three, and there's another three on the other side. And if you're getting a no SIM message and there's a pin missing, then you need to replace the SIM card holder. But this this iPhone, I was having an issue with no SIM inserted, and what was happening is, if I get the, if I get the SIM card carrier, uh, and you slide it in like so there's a little this little bar here metal bar is actually touching making contact with it this one here so you've got there's two metal bars there's the one on the right and one on the left and as you push the sim carrier in this bar here goes up and down so in essence when this sim card goes in the contacts touch making the message say sim card inserted on the screen which is fine which is what we want Obviously, this iPhone had been dropped and the uh, the two pins wasn't touching. So, let me just get that SIM carrier out again. So what you need to do is, you need to push that pin, the left pin, as far left as you can. So when the carrier comes down, it pushes down like so. Once that's working fine, you will get rid of the no SIM insert message. And this usually happens, like I say, from when you've dropped your phone or had some kind of damage towards a sim carrier but yeah that's how you fix it then you just put the phone back together and it'll all work as usual I hope that helps anyone out cheers this is Kun at Kun on Twitter if any questions give me a message cheers